Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be doing an overview of my family's Doral 230BR. Uh, we bought the boat two years ago, one year ago, around there. Um, it has a brand new Sea Lion trailer, double, dual axle, and it was just buffed. Not too long ago. See the door I'll sign right here. This is the ladder. It comes down from under here. It, this is a Bravo 3, if I'm correct. This, we just took this off, repainted it. All that other stuff with this, we put this drive shower on it not too long ago. Up here, this is the swim deck. This is the tow rope spot where you put that. We have an American, American flag that goes in here. And this swim deck is pretty big. My arm's probably about a foot and a half, two foot, two feet and a half. And that's only what it covers. So it's a big swim deck. Right here is your handle for when you're getting up on the ladder. This is where you take out the waste from the toilet, which you guys will see it pretty soon. Right here we have another Doral logo. Right here, this is where the gas comes in. And we have a little keyhole here. I'm not completely sure on what that's for. This is bilge. These are vents for the motor. Cleats. This is where fresh water goes in. This used to be a CB antenna, and then it got broken off from the previous owner. These are drains for the inside. This is another cleat. This is some kind of vent for the inside. Those, it has the curved windows. Like I said, it's a Sea Lion trailer. It is a carpet trailer. It doesn't have any rollers. The front side has the cover on it, but the back does not. And something really cool about these Sea Lion trailers, these newer ones, I think this is a 2019 Sea Lion trailer, is that their locks lock in automatically. Which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a sink drain, I'm pretty sure. Up here is a drain for the ice box, which is right around here. Uh, this boat is 23 foot long, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so now we're gonna head into the inside. Okay, so now we're on the swim deck. Like I said, it's pretty long. It's about a foot wide. It's got this small, uh, you know, place where people would lay down or something. But you'll see why in a minute. Why that's so small. This boat has wraparound seating in the back. And the back seat does come out so you can work on the motor. Here's a little shot of the motor right here. Got some helicopters in there. Let me take those out. Some Mercury, 250 horsepower. Throw those out. Hate those things. Got batteries right here. Or a battery right there. It has two batteries in it. One for the motor and then one for accessories and stuff. Right there's where the other one would be, but we don't have it in right now. Close this nicely. It's got a nice blue carpet. This is those drains that I was telling you about. Here's one speaker, two speakers, three speakers and four speakers. 
These seats are really comfortable. This is where the beamy top would go in right here. You take these little pins and you stick those through to put that in. This is the passenger seat. These are custom made seats. These are not the original seats. Here is your glove compartment. Got two cup holders, one's bigger than the other. A working sink. There's not much water in there right now. Here's your radio. 12 volt um, car charger implant thing, whatever you guys want to call it. Here's the handle for the passenger. Another door owl logo right here. here. Right here is some good storage. We have some ropes that we use uh, at camp to tie it down to the dock. And then we have the American flag that I was telling you about. That did come with the boat. Another door owl logo right here. Um, there's that speaker which I already showed. Right here is your throttle control. We got neutral, reverse, and drive. This is your tether. This is your trim button right here. And right here is your trailer trim. Right down here is your horn. Right there. And here's some more storage. We have our horn and where how you unlock the gas and all that other stuff. Right there. And you're probably thinking that horn's super loud, but it's really not. Uh, it's not too, too loud. Anyways, right here we have another 12 volt charger place right here. This was the CB that I was telling you about. Um, right here is where that broken antenna is, where the CB would be. I do want to try this out at some point, see if it does still kind of work. The reception would be very good, but... Here is the CB controller thing. Got your steering wheel. It's a nice wooden, got a nice wooden finish. Uh, right here is your nav lights, your horn, your bilge, courtesy lights, lower, pump, access one, and access two. Here's your keyhole. This is a phone holder, or as we use it sometimes, a beer holder. Right here, we have a Garmin. Or not a Garmin, my bad. Standard Horizon GPS. If you put, you can program your lake onto it, and it'll give you a little GPS on that lake. Say, you wanted to go on Moosehead Lake in Maine, you just punch in Moosehead Lake, or you get a little SD card for it, and you can have the GPS all over the lake. Right here is the hour meter. That's your miles per hour or my bad rpm this is miles an hour this is depth a depth meter you got your voltage fuel oil and your temp this all looks really nice you got another cup holder up here this is a big space for maybe towels if you want to hold them there this right here as well maximum, maximum captivity is 17 people or uh, 23600 pounds 2360 pounds sorry right here is your bottom storage where you can keep buoys or fishing poles and stuff we got a fishing fishing pole in there right now and some noodles and some buoys now right here this one right here is storage can I open it thank you uh this is where you can put tables. So this boat comes with a table that you can put back there. That little spot right there is for a table. Or these mattresses right here, that can all turn into a big bed. Does have a light right here. And you got other tables in there. The front also turns into a table and a bed if you wanted it to. Close that up. Now, for some reason, I don't really know why, one of the most exciting parts about this boat is the bathroom. 
I don't know why. This does work. And this boat does come with a camper top. That's what these are right here. We have some noodle type things right here for the lake. You can also use this as a changing room. We got toilet paper up there, which the previous owner gave us, hooked us up. We just got this working, so we're gonna have to test it out soon once we get it on the lake. Up here is the bow. Like I said, this can turn into a bed. Under here, storage, under here, storage. And under there is an ice box, that middle one. Get another door owl logo right there. Some storage for like phone or ropes as we have it in right now. And another thing that I forgot to mention was right here's all storage and right here's all storage. This is where you can get to the motor more easily. And uh, this window does open up for people to walk through when you have the bow open. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, where I go through boats and all that other stuff, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see if I have a video of it running. I'm not sure. I might just have an audio clip that I can put over. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye now.